to your girl Janisha John, and you are here at the Baddies Caribbean premiere, and you're locked into Great Tea News. We go start with the cabaret because y'all know the cabaret be cabaret, y'all. I've been telling y'all how I how I feel about uh Jocelyn. Y'all y'all got me calling this girl Jose. So we go call her Jose. It was another name we thought of too. Oh, uh booty butt cheeks. We call her booty butt cheeks, y'all, because uh word around town, uh Jocelyn stank. So she can have all the Dior, all the Balenciaga, all the Gucci. All right, she can have all that on, but if your ass stink, it don't matter, right? You know, because we know soap is I mean, soap is, is 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 not expensive, especially to these people, to the common folk. Uh, inflation been inflationing. All right, remember a bar of soap used to be two three dollars, and then they're five dollars now. I I be having to buy a pack of uh you know a little Irish Spring. I just I just I just I just do the Costco route now, y'all. I buy everything in bulk. I, I got it. You got to. You buy things single now. It's it's expensive, right? So if she can afford Balenciaga, she need a lifetime, okay, a lifetime supply of zest. There's no reason not to be washing your ass, and you so called got money, okay? So that's why we call her booty butt cheeks. From what y'all been telling me, she been stinking. All right, she been stinking. And then we got Carlissa saying, you know, she, she was stanking on, on the set at the Auntie podcast, you know. But yeah, um, so booty butt cheeks over here, okay. It, it, it's giving madam. I said it, y'all. It, it's giving madam, okay. Y'all talking about Mama D. We need to be talking about Mama, Mama booty butt cheeks, Mama Jose, all right, okay. Because the way she be having these girls around. It be seeming like, you know, she she be kind of like, you know, selling. You know what I mean? Like, they be selling some cootie cat. Like, they selling that, that Thundercat. All right? Whether y'all want to admit it or not, we know. Just like how they say Mary Jane is a gateway, you know, a, a gateway substance into stronger substances. You feel me? Heroin. Okay? Cocaina. Right? Right? That's how, you know, dancing is, you know, stripping and dancing, right? You st One minute you're doing that. Next minute, you know, you on a corn hub. You know what I'm saying? You on Bang Bros, right? Or you just selling cat. You on OnlyFans and stuff, right? So, um, a, a lot of people get into that stuff and then, you know, now, now let's be honest, y'all. Y'all know damn well it's a... a it's few and far between the diamonds from um players club is there some girls that's um you know that's you know that's dancing to fund their college uh they college tuition and stuff like that of course of course right but let's be honest here y'all like come on like come on like a lot a lot, a lot of them ain't just in college and stuff like that like let's stop playing stupid okay but anyways this just the vibe she be giving me, y'all. I don't know. All right, it, it be giving me uh, you don't know what you heard about me. All right, Jocelyn can't get a dollar out of me. All right, she a pimp. All right, so when y'all see this, y'all let me know if I'm just seeing things. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Bitches wanna play games with me, but I'm gonna share that with you. Every time we fight, this bitch always wants a rematch. I can't be right to my second on you. I got 50 potato focus on, bitch. Like she said, bitch, I can't be wasting my seconds on you. I got 50 seconds to focus on, bitch. That's it. That's what they're doing. Don't fight with the fight. Don't fight with the fight. Don't fight with the fight. And I never said she ain't selling it too. She the main one. I'm just saying she got, you know, she got a stable. All right. Let's just say this. I think she got a stable. Okay. All right. You said y'all remember the video of her in the studio when she was zooted out? Nah, I don't remember that. I I gotta check it out. 
You said easy us on uh easy on us dancers. I, I don't think I'm being hard. I'm I mean, is the truth? Like, I mean, come on, we're all adults here. Like, I've you know, I've 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 known dancers and stuff like that, and a lot of them dabble in um, you know, other things. Let's just say that. Okay, they not just making their money in the um in the club. You know, some of them got OnlyFans, some of them, you know, do they little some of them got sugar daddies. Like, let's stop. Let's not play dumb. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. You know. Um, I heard uh Jocelyn be musty. That's why I was saying. That's why we call her booty butt cheeks. You said just musty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Booty butt cheeks. All right. You said she was rapping, sounding like a mess. That's funny. That's funny. You said she just be looking stank. <laughs> y'all crazy, man. All right. But yeah, it, it, are y'all feeling this wig? How y'all feel about the little short? Like she got the uh, Halle Berry wig. You know, some people, and y'all know I'm actually um, a supporter of the short haircut. I always love that. On, um, I think T-Boz was cute with the short haircut back in the day. Um, Nia Long, Halle Berry, uh, Tony Braxton, you know what I'm saying? Quite a few other chicks too I can't think of right now. Um, I want to say the girl, y'all, I always get her name mixed up, y'all. What's the girl name from uh, Friday? She ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Remember she was like, you ain't got a lie, Craig. Remember she was on Sprung. Is it Paula Jai Parker? I've seen her with the short haircut too. She looked she look good, right? But this wig ain't, you know, this wig ain't wigging for me. All right. All right. You know. Oh, oh, you oh you oh you like the uh wig on? You like the short wig on Jocelyn? You said it ages her though. It look old, it make her look older and make her look her age. I don't I don't care what y'all say. I don't believe Jocelyn is 37. Y'all believe Jocelyn is 37? No way. No way. No way. Just no, I just, I, I just can't believe it. There's no way. There's no way. And y'all know what the short haircut does. It, 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 it makes you focus on other features. That's probably why you say it make her look older. Because now we ain't got the hair distracting us. Now you can look more into her face. Okay. You know. <laughs> you said she was born in 1973. <laughs> What's that? That's 51. You think Jocelyn in her 50s? <laughs> I don't know if she that old. That mean you think she think uh that mean you think she's uh Carlissa age. Oh man, that's messed up. <laughs> Bitch. Uh... <laughs> Stop. That's funny. I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't like the short haircut on her, y'all. She said you like this? <laughs> I don't like the short haircut on uh Jocelyn. Jocelyn looked like uh 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 Boney Braxton. Like like it, it's you know it's the knockoff great value. I know we love we love us some Tony Braxton. I I get so high when I'm around you, baby. You make my temperature rise. Oh, come on, man. But but, but th this is this is giving more like Boney Braxton, all right? Or Noni Braxton. Let's because it's a no. This is Noni Braxton, y'all. All right. All right. You said, wasn't she saying she was in her 20s on Love & Hip Hop? That would make sense. Because when I first saw her on Love & Hip Hop, when was that, y'all? Like 2012? That would make sense, right? That was like 12 years ago. Y'all know time go by fast. Let me see. When did Jocelyn uh, premiere, uh, wait, debut on Love & Hip Hop? <clears throat> Yo, hey, bruh, y'all know I be so good with the dates. Ain't that crazy? Y'all be y'all be calling me out saying I don't be knowing a lot of stuff, but I do be knowing a lot of stuff. 
what I say, y'all? 2012. Damn, that's crazy. I, I caught it right on the money. So, yeah, so if she's about to be 38 in a couple months, that was 12 years ago. She was 26, allegedly. I don't think she was 26. All right. You said I wore a short wig this past weekend and my mama flamed me up. Hey, she do look like Ebony from, uh, that's who she looked like, y'all. Oh, my, y'all, she looked like Ebony from the Players Club, y'all. Ebony Players Club wig. Oh, my Lord. Monica Calhoun. That's what she looked like, y'all. Oh, man. When she had the uh, when she had the wig on. Let me see if I can find it. Players Club. Oh, man. This is definitely uh, uh, booty butt cheeks right now. And ain't it a coincidence that she a, a, a stripper? She a dancer. Y'all can't tell me that's not what uh Jocelyn is giving right now. That's not what Jocelyn giving right now. Y'all cannot look at me with a straight face and tell me this ain't what Jocelyn is giving right now. And coincidentally, she you know she a dancer. Okay. She a dancer. All right. All right. You can't trust her around your man. All right. Don't you think, don't you need to put some clothes on? Why? Lance, he ain't nobody. Whole time they sleeping with each other. We, we got to review this. This might be the next movie we review, y'all. This actually one of my all-time favorite movies, too. Um, But yeah, that's what, that's what it's giving right now. It's giving you can't trust her around Lance. Okay? You cannot trust her around Lance. Okay? All right? Anyways, no matter what, I love this. It's just one that play games with me, but I'm really sure that's what you know. Every time we fight, there's always one of the matches. I can't be wasting my fingers on you. I got fifty fingers on me. Like you said, bitch, I can't be wasting my fingers on you. I got fifty fingers on me. Like said, bitch, I can't be wasting my fingers on you. I got fifty fingers on me. Don't fight at the full fight. Y'all got y'all back up. I think hopefully she and the Lexus can really bring this together because no matter what happens, it's just one to play games with me, but I'm pretty sure that's what you know. Every time we fight, there's just always one of the matches. I can't be wasting my seconds on you. I got 50 pain of focus on me. Lexus say, bitch, I can't be wasting my seconds on you. I got 50 pounds in. Y'all play too much. She said, bye, Lance. <clears throat> Remember when Diamond Sun said, bye, Lance. Y'all, y'all play too much. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. You said it's given Transformer. What's between your thighs? You said looking like Catwoman. Y'all crazy. All right. So I, I just I just had it to react to that, y'all. Y'all know I'm goofy. When I saw this, I said it looked like she uh she advertising the merchandise, advertising the product. All right. Uh 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 Madam Jose Hernandez. Okay. Booty butt cheeks for sale. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, okay. Now we gotta talk about the aunties, man. All right, y'all know the cabaret be cabaret. But we got to talk about these aunties, okay? The aunties was in Atlanta acting a damn fool. All right? Blueface, come get your mama. Rick Ross, come get, you, come get your baby mama, okay? All right? These are legitimate grandmothers, y'all, okay? This is Golden Girls ATL. Thank you for being a friend. Dun, 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 dun. Travel down the road and back again. My heart is true. You're a power and a comfort. Uh. Thank you for being a friend. And don't ask how I know that song. I got grandmas. All right. I didn't have no damn choice. I had to like Jeopardy. I had to like the price. Price is right. All right. I had to like Golden Girls. I had to like uh, uh the heat of the night. All right. 
Um, I had to like uh, Matlock. All right. I'd have had no choice. All right. I'd have had no choice. I love Lucy, the Andy Griffith show, Happy Days, <clears throat> Jeffersons. Uh, uh, what, what else, y'all? Good Times, uh, All in the Family. Y'all, them shows was out 30 years before I was born. I should have known. I should have known about them damn shows. Why do I know the Golden Girls theme song? That show been canceled for 30 years. When the last time? Hold on. Golden Girls finale. Y'all, I was literally a baby. The last episode, the final episode in Golden Girls was in 1993. Why the hell do I know the theme song for Golden Girls? Why do I know the... Anyways, we got to talk about uh, the ghetto Golden Girls, okay? We got Tia Kemp, all right? And we got Clout Lissa acting a damn fool, okay? Acting a damn fool, all right? Check this out. With your life, give you a thousand dollars. Whatever's your life, give you a thousand dollars. Look for Alyssa with her whole booty out, y'all. All right? All right? We got Carlissa out here wobbling and wobbling it, like dropping it like it's hot. Wobbling, 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 drop it like it's hot. All right. She's literally doing it for the 99s and 2000s. Okay. And for all we know, she was in the damn music video. Y'all know Carlissa been around for a while. Carlissa been around, Carlissa been around for a while okay so she over here giving us this uh senior citizen twerk okay she giving us the aarp all right what's going on right now y'all okay what is going on all right now what was it shaking i, I ain't gonna lie it was it was wobbling but i'm i'm just i'm just you know I'm trying to have a little bit of morality right now. I'm trying to have some some etiquette, some decorum, some class. This isn't very mindful or very demure. Clout Lissa, okay? All right, you and Tia Kent was acting a damn fool. All right, Carlissa acting like she's 22, not 52. Okay? You know? I ain't gonna lie, she hey 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 it's it's moving though. She she, she, she she got something back there. She got something back there. I ain't gonna lie. I might give it to uh Carlissa, y'all. My mind your business. You ain't gonna under, understand everything. And everything ain't meant for you to understand. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Bruh, she over here dancing to Ice Spice, y'all. The Ice Spice. Oh, my Lord. Come on, man. What, 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 what are we doing here? Okay. All right. You said, uh, I like uh, unstable creatures. Mind your business. What more do you want from me? <laughs> my kids don't kill me. I ain't gonna be loud out never again. <laughs> bruh, she really out here just like twerking it though, bruh. Okay, and then we got Tia Kent being the mascot with, with the horse teeth out. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, uh, okay, now, all right, now I ain't gonna lie. When she was bent over, it looked better. The way it was just looking right there, I ain't gonna lie. It was giving. 
It was giving granny cheeks. I ain't gonna lie. It was giving granny cheeks. I gotta admit it, y'all. All right. It was the angles, okay? Once she let them knees, you know what I'm saying? Them hands touch them knees. You know, it was looking cool. As soon as she got up, it was it was it was looking a little a little grannyish, you know? Yeah. Okay. Have some class, Carlissa. Dirty. She's trashy. She's slutty. Okay. And then we got uh Tia Kemp over here in a bodysuit. I don't know what the hell. Hey, what? Bro, Tia Kemp look like a Power Ranger. What the hell she got on? Bro, Tia Kemp look like RoboCop. Hold on. RoboCop. Hold on. RoboCop. Glass. She ain't got the RoboCops on? Y'all cannot tell me this not the RoboCops. She ain't got the RoboCops on? All right. All right, we we might have to start calling her the uh uh the Terminator, the Tia Kempinator. Hasta la vista, baby. All right. Okay, I mean that's the vibe that I'm getting with them damn glasses. It's giving Cyclops from X Men, because we already don't be thinking these people are human, right? I'm I, I'm afraid if Tia Kemp is human, the way she be licking her teeth like that and stuff. And she just be having these weird rants. And I, you know, we already thought that she was having an exorcist on the um on the uh, on the um on the podcast with Jocelyn. Remember, she just start remember she start wigging out. Okay, so she got she got the Robocops on right now. All right, we got look, yeah, Carlissa tired from doing all that damn twerking. She knows she she knows she uh ain't supposed to be doing. All right, she ain't got the stamina no more. Oh my lord. All right, body T, I'll give her that. Y'all know, y'all know. I always give credit where credit's due. The body T, especially you know for a woman of age. Uh, I, I think she said she's almost fifty, right? I think Tia Kim's about forty-eight, right? Body T, body T. But come on, girl. All right. Like I said, it's giving RoboCop. It's giving RoboCop. Like I said, from this angle, Carlissa was was cool. I was like, oh, man, I might, you know, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. How low can you go? Hey, can you get on low on the way to the flow? How low can you go? Can you make it to the top? All right. But um, as soon as, uh, as soon as she, uh, hold on, right here was giving granny. This is where it was Granny Cheeks. Y'all know Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob? This is Granny Cheeks. Okay? All right? But, um... But, yeah, man. The aunties is auntie y'all. Y'all know I had to show y'all that. They was out in uh, ATL acting a dang fool. All right? You said we know why she keep them shades on. Oh, you trying to say she be high? Is that what you trying to say? Message. All right, you said it, not me. Allegedly, all right, allegedly, okay. So, um, Carlissa was flexing on people the same way uh Krishan do. They all do it, man. They all be telling us that we broke, all right. They all be telling us we broke, right, and stay out of their business. Cause remember, uh, <clears throat> remember when um. She was on live. This was like a couple weeks ago. We reacted to it. And people were asking Carlissa about the hundred, what, the $14 million that Blueface owes. And she was like, uh, you will never have to owe that much money. You and you, you, you know, you don't, you ain't never got to worry about it. We got money, blah, 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 blah. Right. And I'm not saying that she don't. Right. But I can afford a Southwest ticket. All right. If I got the money that y'all claiming that y'all got. I, I'm not flying spirit. It's not. It's not that. It's not that uh, serious, right? All right. Spirit is soul plane. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, spirit is uh, the mega bus, the greyhound on air. All right. Um, you know that's just for me. All right. Some bad experiences to where so I'm like I'll pay the little extra 
and I'll, I'll you know I, I've had good uh, experience with uh, Southwest and um, Virgin Virgin Airlines. Vir, Vir, Virgin be doing too. Virgin is like a, a iPad in the air, y'all. It was so futuristic and stuff. it was it was pretty dope. All right, but um, don't be trying to throw stuff all in our face. And girl, you flying spirit, you know, you know. Uh, uh, is it really that serious to um? Uh, uh, is it really that serious to say that much money when y'all when y'all over here and y'all got uh these these designer bags and this and that and spending all this money, but you can't spend more than a hundred dollars on a uh, on a uh, plane ticket. All right, I'm not knocking it because at the end of the day, a plane is a plane. It's gonna get you from point A to point B, right? But that's for my regular folks. Y'all not on um. Y'all not online calling us broke, calling each other broke, this and that, this and that, right? Like somebody, bro, y'all know people be so slow in the chat, uh, not in the chat, but in the comment section, right? Y'all know the, the Christian animals, all right? The unstable creatures. We be having to remind them that she do not like y'all. So let me remind y'all real quick. Y'all weirdos. She don't like you. Because right, everybody can not watch me and I ain't even get to play. Yeah, I fucking hate these weird ass fans I got. I hate y'all. Yo, they tell me that I have to. Fans, y'all really be finding me and shit. I ain't. Y'all cool, but y'all ain't that cool. Don't don't keep up with me like that. I ain't that famous, okay? I'm famous, but don't treat me like that. It's scary. Fans, okay, they go, bruh. So we uh reacted to Krishan being in Walmart in Oklahoma, right? These weirdos go go in my uh comment section and say, "What's wrong with Walmart? Beyonce shop at Walmart." Check a uh, shop at shop at Walmart. Y'all, y'all stupid. Y'all stupid. When did Shaq and Beyonce go online and call their own fans broke and tell them not to worry about them and all of that? Don't ignore everything Krishan does. Like it's weird. Like she got a very strong cult. She goes online and tells her own fans she hates them. They broke. They're weirdos. They're strange. She's scared of them. And they still, I like it. It's like, what the hell? Why are you bringing up Beyonce and Shaq shopping at Walmart? Which we, We're talking about Krishan at Walmart because she's calling everybody broke. What are you talking about? Like, bro, it's, it's, I'm telling y'all, it's weird. Like, I don't know, I had to find my audience, bro. Who is, who is your audience? <laughs> Big, black, toxic, bottom feeders. <laughs> you a hater. Yeah. But let me remind y'all, bro, when school was over, when high school was done, they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world, didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Our whole lives in school, we were separated. We knew who were who. We knew, all right, they get the tripping, don't even pay them no mind. They special ed, you know what I'm saying? After high school, they let them out into society, and we don't know, bro. So when somebody trying, you just remember, they probably them. That's probably them right there, bro. Okay, so we got Carlissa uh, uh, catching the, uh, the Spirit Airlines, y'all. She said, girl, you on a shade room. Why you flying Spirit? Spirit, why Dave room didn't buy this ticket. This ticket was a hundred dollars. She said, "Girl, you on a shade room? Why you flying spirit?" Dave room didn't buy this ticket. This ticket was a hundred dollars. And and I'm not I'm not mad at her for saving the money. All I'm saying is that don't be flexing on people and stuff like that. And uh, you sitting right next to me. All right. All right. Like you sitting right next to me. So how are you so much better than me? If 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 I if if I'm able to reach out to you, all right? If I'm able to reach out to you, all right? Like we in the same boat at this point. Okay? All right. <clears throat> um but yeah, man, uh Carlissa catching a spirit, okay? All right. <laughs> Okay, she on spirit. All right, so I'm sure some people uh got to see uh Clout Lissa. All right, oh, you said she not balling. <laughs> 
He said Shaq has merchandise in Walmart. It's not the same. That's a good point. No, but it's not even that. It's like he's not downing his fan base. You know what I'm saying? It'll be different if Krishan never said anything like that. I mean, I would. It literally would be nothing to say. I would even have said nothing about her being in Walmart. It's a simple fact that she called her own fans broke and told y'all to stop worrying about her and told y'all y'all weird and stuff. And when I bring this up, I'm the bad guy. I'll be like, bro, she said she hates y'all, not me. What the hell? <laughs> so now I hate y'all because y'all don't understand that she hates y'all. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm over here trying to uh, trying to uh, uh, be logical, though. All right? I'm trying to be logical. My bad, y'all. House full of women, cuz. House full of sensitive ass females. Dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. All right. We know they some unstable creatures, y'all. We get it. We get it. All right. We get it. Okay. We get it. So, um... Speaking of uh Carlissa, speaking of um uh Krishan, okay, this uh clip has been making its rounds on social media again, right? This is a throwback of Blueface stating that Carlissa is the main problem between him, Jaden, and Krishan. Okay, now do I believe that Carlissa fueled okay the drama between Jaden, Krishan, and Blueface? Yes, but come on, Blueface. Krishan, I'm Carlissa's the issue. Nigga, not you. And Krishan. Like, y'all made Jaden life a living it, bro. Jaden was just minding her own business until you brought Krishan into her life, into everybody's life, and look what the hell going on now. Look at you sitting in prison, looking stupid. The 12, 2015. Yes. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way according, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. All right. So, yeah, this is Blueface over here uh, claiming that Carlissa, okay, is the problem between everybody's issues. We got to take some uh, accountability, sir. Come on, Blueface. You in jail because of you, obviously. And the situation with the love triangle that you had going on with, with Krishan and Jaden is nothing but your fault, sir. Okay? Now, like I said, did your mom add fuel to it? Did she help? No. Okay? But, like, come on. We got to be accountable here. We got to be accountable here. It's, it, that, that's, that's, that's the thing about being a man. That's the thing about being an adult. Okay? Okay? But let's hear what uh, Blueface has to say. Oh, fuck. That's the one for getting. Car you know who the problem is? Carlissa is the goddamn problem. That's the problem. Carlissa. Carlissa. She the problem. Out of this whole, whole feng shui, Carlissa is the problem. For sure. 100%. What do you No, uh, for one, I might, I, I, I might, I might say that damn eraser head haircut might be the problem for one. All right. That's for one. I just, I just had to throw that out there, okay? For two, okay? It's your um, attraction to toxic women, okay? Can I 100% blame you? No, okay? Because Blueface was subjected to his mother. We are appalled by um, Carlissa now in her 50s. Can you imagine Carlissa in her 40s? Can you imagine Carlissa in her 30s? Can you imagine Carlissa in her 20s? I know she was a hot-ass mess. And she looked 10 times better. Carlissa ain't never been ugly a day in her life. Okay? You look at old videos and pictures of Carlissa. Carlissa was a problem. She was a problem. Okay? So I can only imagine the issues that these uh, kids had to go through. Callie. Um, remember Callie... Uh, Remember, she uh she let it be known that her ex-husband, so before Sap, Mr. Saffold, okay, she got three husbands, y'all. Uh Papa Blue, Mrs. Saffold, and she had a husband uh in between them, right? She came out and said that he punched Callie in the face. And he went to jail for six months. Okay. Dre said that him and Blueface had to beat up some of her ex-boyfriends. Okay. 
And some of them was on crack, all type of stuff. Carlissa subjected these kids to a lot of trauma. Okay. So it's no excuses, obviously, because I don't let Krishan hang with all of that stuff that she went through with her family. She's still an adult. Uh, you should still know uh, not to drink and smoke while you damn pregnant and punching random people in the face and getting mad and trying to, uh, 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 you know, use God as a shield and your baby as a shield for you not to be judged. Okay. There's literally no reason for her to punch her hairdresser in the face. That's why she's being sued. It was no reason for her to punch James Chanel Wright in the face. That's why she's being sued. It was no reason for her to punch Rama from BMF in the face. That's why she's being sued. It was no reason for her to punch uh, Blueface in the face. That's why she got arrested in Arizona. It was no reason for her to attack Whoa Vicky. That's why she had a warrant uh, uh, out for arrest. It was no reason for her to steal Blueface car. Okay. That's why she got arrested and that's why she's in jail right now, okay? Or was in jail, okay? That's why she had that issue, okay? All of this could have been avoided. I have not said anything, y'all, right, that was uh, subjected to her to where as though she had no way out. This was all on her. No one told her to drink and smoke while she was pregnant, okay? Like, I don't care, Okay? At some point, you have to put your big girl panties on. At some point, you got to put your big boy drawers on and make some adult decisions and have some type of, uh, you know, uh, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, just think logically, okay? But I digress, okay? Carlissa did put these uh, guys through a lot, and, you know, it. it's not a surprise why Blueface treat women, talk about women, and do, you know what I'm saying? The way he moves is um based off his mother let's just be honest here y'all carlissa herself said that she got around okay round and round round and round she got around okay all right every other city we go every other video hey no matter where i go i see carlissa that's how she was back in the day y'all all right so um I'm not surprised. Let's just say that. Okay. It's a chain reaction. You think? I'm about to start asking people if Carlissa the problem. I'm going to blame Carlissa. Hey, mama always told me I was going to break hearts. Oh, fuck. That's what I'm forgetting. Car you know what the problem is? Carlissa is the goddamn problem. That's the problem. Carlissa. Carlissa, she the problem out of this whole, whole feng shui. Carlissa is the problem for sure, hundred percent. What do you think? I'm about to start asking people if Carlissa the problem. Yeah, so um, I don't know if y'all knew this. Carlissa actually reacted to that. So let me uh pull that up right right quick, y'all. I thought I had that up. I thought I had that up. In the meantime, in between time, guys, like the video, like the video. It is free. Okay. So let me pull this up real quick. Okay. This is Carlissa actually reacting to this. All right. She says, they always blame mama. And she laughing about it. They always blame mama. Okay. Carlissa, you fired. Sir, uh, Mr. Copeland, um, is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She's fired. She's fired? Okay. So did you wish to represent you? All right. And you should be embarrassed. Okay. Embarrassment when you was embarrassed in your relationship. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Right. I'm embarrassed. Okay, and at this point, whatever Blueface, Callie, and Dre said you did, you did it. Yup. What are they saying he did? Whatever they saying he did, he did that shit. All right. Remember, Dre got a whole warrant out for his arrest right now, y'all. So she might have two. Uh, uh, she could possibly have two sons in prison at the same time, y'all. All right. And we got Carlissa not taking no accountability. Ain't that a B? Ain't that a B? That ain't got shit to do with me. That ain't got shit to do with me. That ain't got shit to do with me. That ain't got 
right. Anyways. Anywho, okay. Let's talk about Blue Faces, uh, the main chick. All right. People keep forgetting as well that Krishan is a side chick. I, I don't understand the confusion, but remember, we're talking about people that are weird. Okay. They are a cult. Okay. So, like, literally, Krishan can't do anything wrong. Uh, according to them, she's Jesus. Okay. So, they believe that she was she's the main chick. She they, they believe that Jaden arrived out of nowhere with two whole babies before uh Junior even existed. Okay, had a whole son with him before Krishan was even around. They just think Jaden just uh, arrived with kids and just and just infiltrated their relationship. And she's in the way. Okay. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so now we got her fans bringing up the fact that her friend said that she wouldn't do baddies when it's that's stupid to say that because Jaden herself said on jason lee on the interview saying that she's open to doing baddies okay they just gotta drop the bag she never denounced baddies so they always find something okay but you know let's check it out remember we reacted to this a, a few months ago this was her friend uh talking about you know um, that she wouldn't do baddies. Okay. So check this out, y'all. All right. Um, people in the comment section said, when you have kids to feed, things change. She always had kids to feed, but was lazy till her baby daddy went to jail and money running low. Now she understands why Rock never stopped hustling. How, how did Rock never stop hustling? We saw Rock literally sitting on her ass, running from the damn police, acting like she playing football for like six months. What are you talking about? But these people are weird, y'all. They make up false narratives and everything. What was what was Krishan doing, y'all? That whole time. Wait, and look, this is how you know they weird. And it's y'all, I'm 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 not even biased. I think all these people are weird. I think all they I think all I think all of the celebrities slow. Y'all know I can't stand these people, right? But I gotta call a spade a spade. The whole time we saw Krishan on the run. Okay, not answering the door when CPS and the uh, police come to the door, right? All right, running away when the damn police come to her football game, right? Right, she's literally on the run. She was on live and said, I'm not turning myself in. I'm not going to stop watching my baby grow, okay? And that was the second time she was on the run. She got arrested the first time from Oklahoma on baddies, okay? So, the whole time we saw Jaden pushing merch. We always see her doing shows, right? Doing meet and greets, right? How the hell was she lazy and not hustling? What are they talking about? Like, they make up these false narratives. It's weird. It's, it's weird. It's weird. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, she says she been had kids to feed. It's uh, it's just her bank account that's behind bars. So y'all saying that Jaden bank account is behind bars. So what is Krishan's? Y'all know we can use revert like you can use the same psychology. Everything y'all say about Jaden right now, we can literally say about Krishan, and it's even worse. Okay, so Jaden is broke. What does that make Krishan? Allegedly, Krishan can't afford no damn lawyer. She couldn't afford her, she couldn't afford her bond and bail. Okay. Um, she literally owes all of these people from lawsuits from beating them up. Okay. She oh she already owed James Chanel Wright restitution. Now he got her in civil court. A Shayla, her hairdresser, got her in uh civil court. Rama got her in civil court, right? Like, what are we, what are we talking about? Where, where's the money? Like, what are they talking about, y'all? Like I, I'm, this is legitimate questions. You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. You keep talking, man, and you shut the fuck up, huh? Right. Just say what we want. Uh, really shut up when you think about fuck it. Up. I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke, and you got the power to change. And you know what they will say? You a hater. 
Well, I'm saying the truth hurts. What are you talking about? How am I a hater? When you spit facts, all of a sudden you a hater. It makes no sense. Okay? But check this out. All right? I'm not shy, but she don't like the internet. She could really pop it if she wanted to, but she's keeping it humble. I wish every day she'll pop it. Lay off the damn lip fillers and ejections, y'all. She can't even talk. All right? She can't even talk, y'all. Okay? You see how she talking? Them damn lips too heavy. All right? All of that stuff in her damn lips, y'all. This lady look crazy as hell. Appreciate that she don't. She won't do reality TV. She got multiple offers. She won't do reality TV. She got multiple offers. After Jaden herself said that she would do baddies on Jason Lee. Okay? She already said she would. Okay, so... Stop listening to everybody that's friends with people and stuff like that. That That's still not that particular person. That's still not them. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't hear from the horse's mouth, okay, you got to kind of take it with a grain of salt, okay? Because now she's looking dumb. She, she's on baddies now. But uh, but Jaden said that she would do it for the right price. She wouldn't do it. They all hit her up. Um, Zeus, they all hit her up. She said no. She declined the offer. Okay. And here they are talking to her. Yeah, she's not shy, but she don't like the internet. She could really pop it if she wanted to, but she's keeping it humble. I wish every day she'll pop her shit, but she don't. She won't do reality TV. She got multiple offers. She wouldn't do it. They all hit her up. Um, Zeus, Rachel, they all hit her up. She said no. She declined the offer. Yeah. So uh, that didn't age well. Okay. That didn't age well at all. Okay. Nigga, what? All right. Anyways. Uh, yeah, the lips is crazy. Yeah, Y'all going crazy on her in the chat. You said, I'm still laughing at her lips. Exactly. Why? Like, what is she doing? Like, like, what is she doing? Yeah, yeah. This is Sadie. This her. This her best friend. All right. This her best friend. Yeah, we covered this when she first talked about it, when she went uh, live the first time about this. We was we was man. We was on her lips, man. Uh, we uh, it was given transformer was between your thighs okay you said she looked crazy yeah the lips is crazy huh right right but yeah man they don't want her on that damn show all right they do not want her on that show at all y'all okay but um it is what it is it is what it is all right and um carlissa out here clout chasing uh, knowing um, this is not gonna happen, girl. Okay, because y'all know she uh, including uh, Krishan, right? We don't even know if Krishan can even lead a damn state, because allegedly that's where Tashiki and them met her up, uh, met up with her in Oklahoma. Okay, met up with her in Oklahoma. Okay, um, so y'all know Carlissa B. Claiming Jr. Okay. So she's saying that Krishan, Jaden, okay, um, Dre's baby mama or his wife, right, or whatever. Um, who else, y'all? And um, why she ain't bringing up Cali, uh, baby daddies? All right. Anyways, she says I'm taking family pictures with all my grandkids. Can all my kids? step kids okay she said kids okay i thought it was just the sons step kids and sons baby mamas pull up to kmart or sears next weekend please any thanks oh my god you're the 12 2015 yes okay um and uh have they been changed in any way for you uh based on what's in front of you no okay uh your honor at this time the state now moves to admit 
the right to say what we want. Ah, uh, shut up. When the you think about fuck it. Up. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? You know damn well this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. Now, it's it sounds good cuz we like okay, um Jaden and Krishan go be on baddies and blah blah blah. But for one, I don't think Krishan can lead a state. She got she got she got court Friday. All right. All right. Krishan uh going to jail Friday night. Jail is jumping. All right. Like that that's that's what it's looking like. She got way too many violations. If Krishan gets out of this, I will be super surprised. Okay. Super surprised. Okay. That's why I think they're doing the show right now. So she can at least collect some funds. I think she got out for these two weeks so she can record this damn TV show. Okay. And so for her to be on baddies, all right. And that's something to uh, hold people over until she get out. I don't think she's going to do the whole eight years, even four years or nothing like that. I, Chris, I might not even do a year. Ain't no telling. All right. But for her to do no time is going to be crazy. But yeah, so I don't think she's going to be able to get all of these people all in the same, all in the same room at one point. She said all of the baby mamas, the baby daddies, the stepkids, all that. And then she said that Sears, y'all, Kmart. All right, this woman crazy. This woman crazy, y'all. All right, she, she just be talking, okay? <laughs> all right, I I I don't believe it. All right, so um, Carlissa, you might as well just cry right now, okay? Because that's not gonna happen, okay? That's not gonna happen. I don't even think do Chris. I don't even like Carlissa. Carlissa even uh when she was in Atlanta, she introduced herself as Blueface Mom and uh Krishan Hater. I I I I I don't I don't know. I, I don't know if that's gonna even work out, but I don't think it's gonna happen, y'all. Beyonce said it best. Me, myself, and that is all I got in the end. That's what I found out. And there ain't no need to cry to go about it from now on. I'm going to be my own best friend. And cut. And cut. Cut it out, Carlissa. Cut it out. It's, 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 I, I don't think this is going to happen. Um, But but if if it does, y'all, all right, if somehow, some way she makes this happen, I'll be the first to congratulate her. All right? So let me do it early. Congratulations. <laughs> We question if uh, Junior is even your grandson, man. All right, like we we question that. People act, people acting uh, asking if Blueface the dad or if Ronnie the dad. We don't know if either one of them might be the dad. Okay, you know. You said she got to be trolling because who still goes to picture places? I thought everyone either did it on their own or hired a photographer. Right, she got the money. She just talking, y'all. All right. All right, she she just be talking, y'all. I, I don't know, man. All right, she just be talking, man. But um, y'all know I'm gonna keep y'all updated, man. The aunties be auntieing, y'all. Okay, the aunties be auntieing. All right, in the circus as well. All right, it's gonna be very interesting to see uh, Jaden on baddies. All right, and see how everything plays out. Okay, especially with Tashiki talking about she don't know. She still thinks she got an issue with uh, with uh, Jaden when Jaden, I don't even think Jaden even knows Tashiki. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy, okay?